Kyla Pratt's here, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. and uh, she brought her man who's hovering over to make sure Cypher sounds don't get loose. <laughs> I'm not even going to say nothing. I just came to watch. <laughs> uh, Miss Pratt or Mrs. Pratt. Are you guys married? No, we're not married. Not married. So it's Miss Pratt. It's Miss Pratt. Yes. Is their marriage looming? In uh, it's imminent? looming in the future when we feel. Also, the f you, have, you guys have two kids or one? Yes, we have two. Two kids. Yeah. Oh, so they're real. How's the family pressuring you? I know family's cool. I mean, as long as we keep our communication open, we're See? good. Raising our kids. You like me kids. and my woman. Mm, right. As long, woman. as long as me and him are good, that's all that's, think, that matters. You think the pressure of the paperwork for marriage is more than, I don't know, raising children? Yes. Yeah. I do. Yes. Yo, I'm, listen, it, mom, it's, listen. No, it's I, weird. I don't get it either. Laura, Laura you <laughs> I don't be quiet. Get it either. Cypher sounds, you be quiet. <laughs> Kyla, let's have a conversation. All right. All right. Uh, me and my woman decided we wanted to have a child. Mm -hmm. You guys have decided you wanted to have two. Yes. You're mm -hmm. not married and you're happy, correct? Yes. And you're successful, no drama, no nothing like that. You're not worried about pleasing everyone else. You're just trying to be happy with your family. Yes. We made the same decision. And for some reason, society is conditioned so much that it, there has to be a way of doing things. Mm -hmm. That when you break that mold, everyone wants to criticize. Mm -hmm. Everyone wants to judge. So I have a happy family or I'm about to have a daughter. And me and my woman are happy, but Syph decided to get married and still doesn't even know if he wants to have children. Mm -hmm. I'm nervous to have kids. But, Why? but it's okay feel... committing to the rest Why? of his life <laughs> right. with a woman. Because I've had time with my woman. <laughs> I put the time in and I was like, okay, this is somebody I want to spend the rest of my life with. I figure that out. I don't know how it is to have children, so I'm still nervous. I'm weighing it out. The pressure of having children seems way higher of raising children than getting married. Yeah, but raising children, you'll never be ready until it happens. You're never, like, you don't just, you're not born into this world and you're talk like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be a great parent. Like, no, it's, it's, it's crazy, it's stressful, but no matter what, we know as long as we're getting along and able to be friends, we're going to raise Great same, people. Same. Just change. We're gonna raise great people. Every time you said baby or people, just change it to marriage. Yeah. Raise <laughs> a great marriage. Yeah. I don't know. I don't. I, I don't know. To me, I, listen. I'm not. Mar I'm not even in a relationship. I don't even have kids. <laughs> yeah, so don't yeah, like okay. Her. So, so I might yeah, not Lord, be the best Lord, one. Let me let me turn your <laughs> mic you know, off. But I'm listening, <laughs> and I have. You know, I'm trying to figure it out. The but, marriage is a lot of pressure. I don't, but you guys have I don't, kids. You're already committed to being together but, to raise these kids. But it's different with your kids. No matter what, we're going to make things happen because I want to make sure my babies Talk have everything that's perfect. No, Kyla, here it is. I don't want to rush into a marriage <laughs> and people are like, oh, you need to be married. And the next thing you know, we, we rushed into something. No, now I'm we're not, getting divorced and Kyla, the, parents, the Kyla, kids are Kyla, stressed. This and, is what it is. <laughs> they don't understand that. No, no, no. A child has no choice. Right. I'm feeding you, bathing you, and paying for all your shit. <laughs> Whether we like each other or not, right. you cannot you go anywhere. You stuck with me. Where with a piece of paper, that ain't nothing but a piece of paper. Right. Listen, That's I'm nothing. Not saying, I'm not saying I'm for everyone to get married. I'm just saying, saying it's more pressure than raising a child. It's definitely not. I don't agree. Everyone should get married. I just felt I should. Well, Kyla Pratt's here to promote <laughs> another check she's getting. She's been what getting kind of checks check? since she was on... Uh, Barney. Yeah. <laughs> she gets checked. How many years ago was that? Uh, I shot Barney when I was 10, so about 18 years ago. Jeez. Wow. Yeah. What kind of checks was Barney putting uh, out? Uh, Barney was cool. Barney was cool. I've been I've been in some situations where I'm like, damn, they was cheap. But, <laughs> but Barney, Barney was good. It was a good experience. I got to go uh, to Montreal for the first time and live there for a couple of months. And I did it because my mom was pregnant with my little sister and I wanted her to watch me on TV. And now my daughters look at it and recognize me wow. from wow. the movie. So That's pretty, yeah. I'm glad that I, at first I used to be embarrassed when I was younger, but now I'm glad that I did something like that. And then you went from Barney to what? Disney, was it? Well, I did um, all the Dr. Doolittles. Dr. Doolittles. And uh -huh. then we did... Eddie Murphy checks. Eddie... <laughs> Killed his shoes a star. <laughs> Talk about did it. did all the Dr. Doolittles. You did um, your own sequel, right? Uh, yeah, like yeah. The, we the, did some like straight to DVD movies, and those without Eddie turned Just out great. Own checks, <laughs> own checks. and then um, I did one on one, mm. which was on UPN for with five Flex. years. Yeah, with Flex Alexander. Yeah, and then Fat Albert and Hotel for Dogs and. Yeah, I've been. I, I like to work, so That's I gotta tight. keep it going. <laughs> and, and where are you from? I'm from LA, born you and are raised. From LA. Yeah. 
So now you're on BET, you're on your, are they calling it a fourth season? You yeah. were trying to explain to Yeah, me? technically it's the fourth season of Let's Stay Together. And this is a sitcom. I haven't watched it yet, yes. so I'm, I'm guilty. <laughs> I haven't. BET original sitcom did not ring bells with me. <laughs> it's supposed to be pretty good. But now you have to check it out because I came to visit and you seen me and I'm cool. Well, and then the way, <laughs> the way your husband is looking at me like, nigga, you ain't supporting the family, my nigga? <laughs> <laughs> you got to support these checks. We need them to keep coming. Coming in, we got kids. So tell me about one on one for people who haven't seen it. Tell me no. more. Not one on one. Uh, let's, let's stay, stay together. together. Let's stay together. Let's stay together is basically about um, two couples trying to stay together. One couple's married, one couple's about to get married and uh, dealing with the pressures of trying to have a kid and things like that. Where I fall in is I am a relative of, of someone in one of the couples. Mm. And I'm just a crazy college student who's broke and trying to wash her clothes at people's house, trying to eat everybody's food. Just walking around bubbly with no, no care in life, just enjoying myself. And this past season, I really, um, I got involved in a little sticky situation. I started dating a um, football player. Mm. And then I found mm. out I found out that he was gay mm. after a little mm. while because he wouldn't take it to that next level and I was like why What's not the deal? yeah and then I met his boyfriend <laughs> oh boy so so <laughs> at so at this point he's um asked me to marry him and basically be his his beard, his beard. Uh -huh. and um I'm I'm struggling with that because I kind of met someone that I really care about but I don't want to leave my friend hanging and I'm trying to like I guess help him out and help him keep his secret be a ride or die basically I'm trying to be a ride or die but have my cake and eat it too so well, he's got his cake. Yeah, he does have his cake, so I don't understand why she can't, but That's they what did. cake is for. But they did. <laughs> to be eaten. Cake is for the eat. You don't look at cake, you eat it. <laughs> but they had a, um, like a situation where someone saw me and the other guy out and took a picture of us and posted on blogs and stuff. Mm -hmm. So it's been kind of difficult for our quote-unquote relationship, but that's what Crystal is going through right now, and she's young and crazy and enjoy stuff like that um it's cool i can compliment your woman it's cool it's clean right it's clean you're used to that <laughs> I, I don't want no <laughs> um you do you say you're playing a college student like i don't want to you know you don't ask a woman her age but you've been around would you say 18 years ago when you was 10 yeah so you're 20 i'm 27 seven wow yeah. and playing a college student so you're aging well Yes, thank you. Well, I always tell aging everybody, well. I say, my mama look good. So no, we got to try to keep things. Well. I'm just saying, like, 27 is not even old. No, like, but she no, looks but <laughs> very young. She looks young. She though. could be 18. Yeah, she looks No, young. I have people hey. walk up to me when I'm with my kids, like, oh, whose children are those? Yeah. And I'm like, uh, they're mm -hmm. mine. <laughs> Kyla, what's happening? What, what you heard from Laura was what we call hate. <laughs> Why is it hate? I'm just saying that I don't think 27 is old. No, 27 is not old, but I no, do she's get, not old, but she's playing I, I do student. get all the time that I look 18, 19, and. You get carded at clubs? Oh, everywhere we go. He gets carded now because he's with me. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, bruh, how old are you? And he's like, what? <laughs> he's like, I've never been carded before this. So, yeah. <laughs> so, um, how long have you guys been together? Uh, almost six years. So, how are there any scenarios on this comedy that are maybe even built on some of the stuff you guys have been through? Um, I think everybody can relate to this because it's simple things that happen in every relationship. You're arguing about um, who's texting you or who's texting your girl and why is somebody calling you late or should we do this? Should we get joint accounts? And, you know, it's, I feel like everybody can relate to it because it's something that we, like, everybody goes yeah, through. Yeah, but see, you trying to take it back to the show. I'm talking about y'all. <laughs> no, no, about no, us? Trying, Ooh, no, I have a question to, for you. I think I, so. I have a question for I, you. How do you feel about sexting? In about, a relationship, if you caught your man sexting, like well, somebody, if I, caught him, if I caught him sexting someone else, yes. yes. Oh hell no! You see, because we we Absolutely had we had not. a big we had a big argument this morning, a discussion, because oh. I said in a relationship, sexting should not be allowed. It should not be allowed because if I see it, we are gonna have a problem. Mm. He knows I'm crazy, and <laughs> I know, and I know he crazy. That's why we gotta Listen, understand in here. You hear that? <laughs> You hear all the LA coming out. We gotta like, understand it here. All the LA is yeah, coming it's out. Not going down. <laughs> it's not going down in a relationship. I'm not. No, no. And you, you guys thought that's so, that's okay. Oh yeah, they said it's okay. Why no, not? No. They're just looking. That's not what was said, Laura. Stout. Th yes, that's no, what you said. That's not what was. Said. I mean, that's what it sounds like. What that's why was I was said asking. Was what was said was I'm cool if I'm sexting. It's not cool if she's. Sexting. If she's sexting. And I went up further. And me? I went further. And I said, if I caught her sexting. I probably wouldn't leave her. 
Especially like in y'all situation, y'all been together six years. I got two kids. Where you going, my G? You ain't going nowhere. <laughs> and where you going? Oh, you just gonna go get a new man? That's what's about to happen. <laughs> yeah, right. You gonna sit your ass down. You gonna sit your ass down, and y'all gonna deal with it. So everybody always talks this yin yang. Like, oh, I'm gonna do this. You ain't gonna do shit. Especially if you've been together a long time and y'all got two kids. You ain't going nowhere. Not over somebody exchanging some dirty talk. I, now, under, I, if under, he was, I understand that, but. As far as you having dirty talk with somebody else, and I see it, you and I find out about it, you and I photos. I'm gonna be upset, and that's gonna make me wonder what the okay. hell else you doing. As you should. And it's gonna it's gonna challenge the trust in our I, I, relationship. Oh, that's clean. So right? therefore, if I'm gonna stay here, that's clean. of course I'm gonna stay here. I'm gonna fight for my family. That's right. But I'm not gonna sit here and be unhappy for like years because I'm and, trying to I'm, because I'm trying to worry about where you going and, and what you should, doing now because you texting hoes. And he should hoes. change his activities. Yes. Hey, he should, but you ain't <laughs> going nowhere. <laughs> Um, I don't, I don't know. We no, haven't I'm had telling, that. We haven't had I'm that problem. <laughs> and it depends how the extent of, of the, the problem, right? Yeah, if it continues, yeah. But it, yeah, that's what the real. I mean, the people, real is you ain't going nowhere. I understand that people make mistakes. Stuff happens in relationships. We're all human. It's all about being honest when it comes down to it. But 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 if I see some stuff now, you giving me reasons. Like I mean, before when we first started dating, it was all kind of stuff on both of our ends, and mm -hmm. it was like you, you making me not trust you. And he didn't understand when I'm like, babe, just answer your phone, and that's gonna help me trust you. That's gonna help me be like, okay, he not doing nothing. He just chilling. I'm just checking on him. He answering his phone. But if we didn't had issues in the past, and you don't answer your phone. You could be on the toilet for all I know, but I'm sitting here like, oh my God, I know his ass is wet, whoop de whoop, and blah, blah, blah. And da -da. <laughs> like, this is what he's doing. I just know it. And so now I'm creating stuff in my brain. So why even do all that? Why even why even but make that, me have that, to go there? All right, but that's a whole different conversation from sexting and texting. Because men do that, just for you ladies out there that don't understand. We live in a time where sometimes porn ain't enough. Mm. I might just need to act like I'm shopping and acting out just as entertainment. That just sounds insane But that doesn't to me. mean I'm going to go and do something. The, the, window mail, shopping? the mail mind. Yeah. <laughs> that just sounds insane not, to me. You're window what, shopping? Once you start getting photos, I mean, how, how is that okay? But y'all do it. Y'all go stare bags in the windows and shoes. But that's bags and shoes. I'm not I'm not messing with them. If those shoes We're not talk sharing. back to you, you would love it. Some men, <laughs> some men, unfortunately. I do love my shoes. Some men, unfortunately, will objectify women in a way where we look at y'all as you know like driving a car you know what I mean it's like a little test drive a little you know what I mean look, look how she looking at me she cannot take it I right I mean you can't like I'm Listen. like <laughs> don't smile you don't can't. smile don't smile don't smile <laughs> don't smile don't laugh why you laughing G why you messing the whole he thing he like up? why you why you even starting this conversation we gonna get in the car we gonna continue it why are you doing this to me I mean it's it's cool to look it's cool to look but when you start in the conversation of like acting like you about to buy, then that's 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 nah. where the nervousness comes in. No, no, right? no. And see what y'all, what ladies miss is the real crime in all of this is if a man was actually going on vacations and going to dinners and going. See, because when a guy touches something, that really don't mean shit. It means something if he's gonna go on vacations, pay for car notes, get another apartment. Trying mm. to have a whole other life. Y'all so mean, worried if, about if a guy touches something, what do you mean by touching? You know, touching. He mean it's not all it's not all it's it's not physical for them. So if if the, like it, you I know, I what know I'm what, there's no touching. I going know on. what you're saying. And you're not supposed to be okay with the sex that nobody's saying that. Cause we don't real talk, we don't want you to be okay. We wanna get in trouble. We want you to <laughs> we want you to get upset the with danger. us. That's the real shit. We wanna get in trouble. We it's want exciting the exciting because it's dangerous. Yes. But the real shit y'all need to be worried about is not the sexting and texting. It's the other relationships. Yeah, but is the sexting gonna lead nah, to something nah, else? Nah. It can. That's what's in our. That's what's in our minds. So it can, so, and it has. So you're saying that it's okay for the male to do nope, sexting, nope. but not the woman because the man is physical and the woman is emotional. Exactly. So if she's doing, but it's not so okay. If she's, Yes. She's sexting, good. then that means she's emotionally involved yeah, yes. in someone else. Yes. I understand where you're coming from. <laughs> but it's still I understand unacceptable. where you're coming from, but it's still some bullshit. Oh, okay. All day. <laughs> Kyler Brad is here. Kyler Brad is here. Thank you. Watch the show on BET. <laughs>